Interesting facts of tiger. The tiger is the largest living cat species and a member of the genus Panthera. It is most recognizable for its dark vertical stripes on orange-brown fur with a lighter underside. It is an apex predator, primarily preying on ungulates such as deer and wild boar. It is territorial and generally a solitary but social predator, requiring large contiguous areas of habitat, which support its requirements for prey and rearing of its offspring. Tiger cubs stay with their mother for about two years, before they become independent and leave their mother's home range to establish their own. As of 2015, the global wild tiger population was estimated to number between 3,062 and 3,948 mature individuals, with most of the populations living in small isolated pockets. India currently hosts the largest tiger population. Major reasons for population decline are habitat destruction, habitat fragmentation and poaching. Tigers are also victims of human-wildlife conflict, particularly in range countries with a high human population density. The tiger is among the most recognizable and popular of the world's charismatic megafauna. It featured prominently in the ancient mythology and folklore of cultures throughout its historic range, and continues to be depicted in modern films and literature, appearing on many flags, coats of arms and as mascots for sporting teams. The tiger is the national animal of India, Bangladesh, Malaysia, and South Korea. The tiger has a muscular body with powerful forelimbs, a large head and a tail that is about half the length of its body. Its pelage is dense and heavy, and coloration varies between shades of orange and brown with white ventral areas and distinctive vertical black stripes that are unique in each individual. Stripes are likely advantageous for camouflage and vegetation such as long grass with strong vertical patterns of light and shade. The tiger is one of only a few striped cat species, it is not known why spotted patterns and rosettes are the more common camouflage pattern among felids. The orangish color may also aid in camouflage as the tiger's prey are dichromates, and thus may perceive the cat as green and blended in with the vegetation. A tiger's coat pattern is still visible when it is shaved. This is not due to skin pigmentation, but to the stubble and hair follicles embedded in the skin. It has a mane-like heavy growth of fur around the neck and jaws and long whiskers, especially in males. The pupils are circular with yellow irises. The small, rounded ears have a prominent white spot on the back, surrounded by black. These spots are thought to play an important role in intraspecific communication. There is notable sexual dimorphism between male and female tigers, with the latter being consistently smaller. The size difference between them is proportionally greater in the large tiger subspecies, with males weighing up to 1.7 times more than females. Males also have wider forepaw pads, enabling sex to be identified from tracks. It has been hypothesized that body size of different tiger populations may be correlated with climate and be explained by thermoregulation and Bergman's rule, or by distribution and size of available prey species. Generally, Males vary in total length from 250 to 390 centimeters and weigh between 90 and 300 kilograms with skull length ranging from 316 to 383 millimeters. Females vary in total length from 200 to 275 centimeters, weigh 65 to 167 kilograms with skull length ranging from 268 to 318 millimeters. In either sex, the tail represents about 0.6 to 1.1 meters of the total length. The Bengal and Siberian tigers are amongst the tallest cats in shoulder height. They are also ranked among the biggest cats that have ever existed reaching weights of more than 300 kilograms. The tigers of the Sunda Islands are smaller and less heavy than tigers in mainland Asia, rarely exceeding 142 kilograms in weight. There are three color variants, white, golden and stripeless snow white, that now rarely occur in the wild due to the reduction of wild tiger populations, but continue in captive populations. The white tiger has white fur and sepia brown stripes. The golden tiger has a pale golden pelage with a blonde tone and reddish brown stripes. The snow white tiger is a morph with extremely faint stripes and a pale reddish brown ring tail. Both snow white and golden tigers are homozygous for car and gene mutations. A black tiger is a color variant due to pseudomelanism. They have thick stripes close together so that the background color is barely visible between stripes. The white tiger lacks pheomelanin, which creates the orange color, and has dark sepia brown stripes and blue eyes. This altered pigmentation is caused by a mutant gene that is inherited as an autosomal recessive trait, which is determined by a white locus. Both parents need to have the allele for whiteness to have white cubs. To preserve this recessive trait, 
only a few white individuals were used in captive breeding, which led to a high degree of inbreeding. Inbreeding depression is the main reason for many health problems of captive white tigers, including strabismus, stillbirth, deformities and premature death. The tiger species survival plan has condemned the breeding of white tigers, alleging they are of mixed ancestry and of unknown lineage. The genes responsible for white coloration are represented by 0.001% of the population. The disproportionate growth in numbers of white tigers points to inbreeding among homozygous recessive individuals. This would lead to inbreeding depression and loss of genetic variability. The tiger historically ranged from eastern Turkey and Transcaucasia to the coast of the Sea of Japan, and from South Asia across Southeast Asia to the Indonesian islands of Sumatra, Java, and Bali. Since the end of the last glacial period, it was probably restricted by periods of deep snow lasting longer than six months. Currently, it occurs in less than 6% of its historical range, as it has been extirpated from Southwest and Central Asia, large parts of Southeast and East Asia. It now mainly occurs in the Indian subcontinent, the Indochinese Peninsula, Sumatra and the Russian Far East. In China and Myanmar, breeding populations appear to rely on immigration from neighboring countries while its status in the Korean Peninsula is unknown. The tiger is essentially associated with forest habitats. Tiger populations thrive where populations of wild cervids, bovids and suids are stable. Records in Central Asia indicate that it occurred foremost in Tuggy riverine forests along the Atre, Amu Darya, Sir Darya, Hari, Chu and Ili rivers and their tributaries. In the Caucasus, it inhabited hilly and lowland forests. Historical records in Iran are known only from the southern coast of the Caspian Sea and adjacent Alborz Mountains. In the Amur Yushuri region, it inhabits Korean pine and temperate broadleaf and mixed forests, where riparian forests provide food and water, and serve as dispersal quarters for both tiger and ungulates. On the Indian subcontinent, it inhabits mainly tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests, moist evergreen forests, tropical dry forests and the swamp forests of the Sundarbans. In the eastern Himalayas, tigers were documented in temperate forest up to an elevation of 4,200 meters in Bhutan and of 3,630 meters in the Mishmi Hills. In Thailand, it lives in deciduous and evergreen forests. In Laos, 14 tigers were documented in semi-evergreen and evergreen forest interspersed with grassland in Nam Et Pului National Protected Area during surveys from 2013 to 2017. In Sumatra, tiger populations range from lowland peat swamp forests to rugged montane forests. When not subject to human disturbance, the tiger is mainly diurnal. It does not often climb trees but cases have been recorded. It is a strong swimmer and often bathes in ponds, lakes and rivers, thus keeping cool in the heat of the day. Individuals can cross rivers up to 7 km wide and can swim up to 29 km in a day. During the 1980s, a tiger was observed frequently hunting prey through deep lake water in Ranthampore National Park. The tiger is a long-ranging species, and individuals disperse over distances of up to 650 km to reach tiger populations in other areas. Radio-collared tigers in Chitwa National Park started dispersing from their natal areas earliest at the age of 19 months. Four females dispersed between 0 and 43.2 km, and 10 males between 9.5 and 65.7 km. None of them crossed open cultivated areas that were more than 10 km wide, but moved through forested habitat. Adult tigers lead largely solitary lives. They establish and maintain territories but have much wider home ranges within which they roam. Resident adults of either sex generally confine their movements to their home ranges, within which they satisfy their needs and those of their growing cubs. Individuals sharing the same area are aware of each other's movements and activities. The size of the home range mainly depends on prey abundance, geographic area and sex of the individual. In India, home ranges appear to be 50 to 1000 square kilometers while in Manchuria, they range from 500 to 4000 square kilometers. In Nepal, Defended territories are recorded to be 19 to 151 square kilometers for males and 10 to 51 square kilometers for females. Young female tigers establish their first territories close to their mothers. The overlap between the female and her mother's territory reduces with time. Males, however, migrate further than their female counterparts and set out at a younger age to mark out their own area. A young male acquires territory either by seeking out an area devoid of other male tigers, or by living as a transient in another male's territory until he is older and strong enough to challenge the resident male. 
young males seeking to establish themselves thereby comprise the highest mortality rate, 30 to 35 percent per year, amongst adult tigers. To identify his territory, the male marks trees by spraying urine, anal gland secretions, marking trails with feces and marking trees or the ground with their claws. Females also use these scrapes, urine and fecal markings. Scent markings of this type allow an individual to pick up information on another's identity, sex and reproductive status. Females in estrus will signal their availability by scent marking more frequently and increasing their vocalizations. Although for the most part avoiding each other, tigers are not always territorial and relationships between individuals can be complex. An adult of either sex will sometimes share its kill with others, even those who may not be related to them. George Schaller observed a male share a kill with two females and four cubs. Unlike male lions, male tigers allow females and cubs to feed on the kill before the male is finished with it, all involved generally seem to behave amicably, in contrast to the competitive behavior shown by a lion pride. In the wild, tigers mostly feed on large and medium-sized mammals, particularly ungulates weighing 60 to 250 kilograms. Range-wide, sambar deer, wapiti, barasinga and wild boar are significantly preferred. Tigers are capable of taking down larger prey like adult gaur but will also opportunistically eat much smaller prey, such as monkeys, peafowl and other ground-based birds, hares, porcupines, and fish. They also prey on other predators, including dogs, leopards, pythons, bears, and crocodiles. Tigers generally do not prey on fully grown adult Asian elephants and Indian rhinoceros but incidents have been reported. More often, it is the more vulnerable small calves that are taken. When in close proximity to humans, tigers will also sometimes prey on such domestic livestock as cattle, horses, and donkeys. Although almost exclusively carnivorous, tigers will occasionally eat vegetation for dietary fiber such as fruit of the slow match tree. Tigers are thought to be mainly nocturnal predators, but in areas where humans are absent, remote controlled, hidden camera traps recorded them hunting in daylight. They generally hunt alone and ambush their prey as most other cats do, overpowering them from any angle, using their body size and strength to knock the prey off balance. Successful hunts usually require the tiger to almost simultaneously leap onto its quarry, knock it over, and grab the throat or nape with its teeth. Despite their large size, tigers can reach speeds of about 49 to 65 km per hour but only in short bursts, consequently, tigers must be close to their prey before they break cover. If the prey senses the tiger's presence before this, the tiger usually abandons the hunt rather than chase prey or battle it head on. Horizontal leaps of up to 10 meters have been reported, although leaps of around half this distance are more typical. 1 in 2 to 20 hunts, including stalking near potential prey, ends in a successful kill. When hunting larger animals, tigers prefer to bite the throat and use their powerful forelimbs to hold onto the prey, often simultaneously wrestling it to the ground. The tiger remains latched onto the neck until its target dies of strangulation. By this method, Gowers and water buffaloes weighing over a ton have been killed by tigers weighing about a sixth as much. Although they can kill healthy adults, tigers often select the calves or infirm of very large species. Healthy adult prey of this type can be dangerous to tackle, as long, strong horns, legs and tusks are all potentially fatal to the tiger. No other extant land predator routinely takes on prey this large on its own. Tigers usually prefer to eat self-killed prey but eat carrion in times of scarcity and also steal prey from other large carnivores. Although predators typically avoid one another, if a prey item is under dispute or a serious competitor is encountered, displays of aggression are common. If these are not sufficient, the conflicts may turn violent, tigers may kill or even prey on competitors such as leopards, holes, striped hyenas, wolves, bears, pythons, and mugger crocodiles on occasion. Attacks on smaller predators, such as badgers, lynxes, and foxes, are almost certainly predatory. Crocodiles, bears, and large packs of tolls may win conflicts against tigers and, in the cases of crocodiles and bears, even can kill them. The considerably smaller leopard avoids competition from tigers by hunting at different times of the day and hunting different prey. Tigers appear to inhabit the deep parts of a forest while smaller predators like leopards and tolls are pushed closer to the fringes. The tiger mates all year round, but most cubs are born between March and June, with a second peak in September. Gestation ranges from 93 to 114 days, with an average of 103 to 105 days. A female is only receptive for 3 to 6 days. 
Mating is frequent and noisy during that time. The female gives birth in a sheltered location such as in tall grass, in a dense thicket, cave or rocky crevice. The father generally takes no part in rearing. Litters consist of two or three cubs, rarely as many as six. Cubs weigh from 780 to 1600 grams each at birth, and are born with eyes closed. They open their eyes when they are 6 to 14 days old. Their milk teeth break through at the age of about 2 weeks. They start to eat meat at the age of 8 weeks. At around this time, females usually shift them to a new den. They make short ventures with their mother, although they do not travel with her as she roams her territory until they are older. Females like to eat for 5 to 6 months. Around the time they are weaned, they start to accompany their mother on territorial walks and are taught how to hunt. A dominant cub emerges in most litters, usually a male. The dominant cub is more active than its siblings and takes the lead in their play, eventually leaving its mother and becoming independent earlier. The cubs start hunting on their own earliest at the age of 11 months, and become independent around 18 to 20 months of age. They separate from their mother at the age of 2 to 2 and a half years, but continue to grow until the age of 5 years. Young females reach sexual maturity at 3 to 4 years, whereas males at 4 to 5 years. Unrelated wandering male tigers often kill cubs to make the female receptive, since the tigress may give birth to another litter within 5 months if the cubs of the previous litter are lost. The mortality rate of tiger cubs is about 50% in the first 2 years. Few other predators attack tiger cubs due to the diligence and ferocity of the mother. Apart from humans and other tigers, common causes of cub mortality are starvation, freezing, and accidents. Generation length of the tiger is about 8 years. The oldest recorded captive tiger lives for 26 years. Occasionally, male tigers participate in raising cubs, usually their own, but this is extremely rare and not always well understood. In May 2015, Amor tigers were photographed by camera traps in the Sikate Ali Nature Reserve. The photos show a male Amor tiger pass by, followed by a female and three cubs within the span of about two minutes. In Rantham Boar, a male Bengal tiger raised and defended two orphan female cubs after their mother had died of illness. The cubs remained under his care, he supplied them with food, protected them from his rival and sister, and apparently also trained them. We made extra efforts to produce such kind of informative videos. If you feel that this video gives you some kind of valuable information, then like and subscribe this channel. Share this video with your family and friends. Hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any such kind of informative videos.